Uh, colonial time, special colonial time edition. We're going to go for <clears throat> five minutes and approximately 12 seconds. Because we haven't done it in a while. And while we've been away, James Madison has just been ripping through the FCS playoffs as expected. Yep. Um, last week, 17, what, 17 nothing was the final, nothing. right? Yeah. Looked like 77 nothing. Like, as far as that defense played, there was no way on planet Earth that Northern Iowa was ever going to score. And Signetti actually literally said as much, I found out after the game, in the locker room at halftime, went to his offensive coaches and said, hey, just don't screw it up, man. Just don't throw the ball mm-hmm. to the other team anymore because if we just go three and out forever, our defense is going to never let them score. They, they have no shot. And he was right, and they did exactly that. I mean, I'm talking literally to Kyle during what they the game, did. and I'm like, dude, they're literally just running ISO repeatedly. Yep. And it didn't matter. He was dead right. Um, th- that defense is as dominant as I've ever seen at this level. I don't think there's an offense out there that they can't shut down. Certainly neither of the offenses that are – or none of the three offenses that are left on the table. Uh, but quick thoughts from JMU's uh, quarterfinal win against Northern Iowa. The lead felt insurmountable once they scored that touchdown. Yeah, like, like any was, points on the board, and yeah. I was like, "Well, it's over with." Yeah, um, no, that the they didn't allow Northern Iowa to cross midfield until the very last drive of the game when they were just in like total prevent, like do whatever you want. It's seventeen point game with two minutes to go. Right. Um, it, they can do that against North Dakota State. Watch North Dakota State play Illinois State, who is a pretty good defense or top ten FCS defense. But they're not JMU. They couldn't throw the ball. They struggled to run the ball. They kicked three field goals. They can do that. They, mm-hmm. they can do that against Weber this weekend, and they can do that against NDSU and Frisco in a yep. few weeks. I really believe that. It's rather presumptuous that you're already penciling North Dakota State into the final. That That's how question, confident yeah. I am in this defense <laughs> in the, uh, the run game. Because, like you said, it was like third and 11 with nine minutes to go in the fourth. They did not even think about throwing the ball. No. It was just a run. Straight up it was run. funny because when they finally did throw a couple passes on the perimeter late in the fourth, the the, the TV guys were like, it's been there all night long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there's a reason they're not throwing. It's not because they don't think it's there. Um, yeah, so the deal with Weber State, 31 takeaways this year. Yes. You got to be careful with the ball there because the only way Weber State is going to beat JMU is if they're, they're getting the takeaways and then – you know, flipping the field and points off turnovers, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what you got to be careful with. Um, ben Zanucci did have a pick in the end zone. Um, he's had some struggles with, with that kind of stuff. Be nice. I am. I'm just <laughs> saying he's had some struggles um, in bigger games with, with forcing the ball a little bit. Um, so if they avoid that, maybe stick to those short screen perimeters. Mm-hmm. Um, they have great receivers that can make guys miss and turn – screen passes into huge gains and then the run game um i think we'll see him in frisco anything else you'd like to add to that michael no i'm just I, I, it's funny that you're automatically putting ndsu you said in the finals is there a chance that they see the other end of that game montana state in the finals i don't see it and, and if so like do they what? just walk in <clears throat> i think north dakota state is a lot like jmu in that, like last week, I think offensively they they got to a point where their defense was so dominant, and I don't know this, I'm, I could be completely wrong, but I think their defense was so dominant in that game that they just said, you know what, mm-hmm. we're just not gonna get fancy here at they all. Might we're have, just gonna yeah. keep everything real close to the vest and bleed this clock out and move on, mm-hmm. survive and advance type of thing. North Dakota State is built that way. JMU is built that way. With respect to Weber State and Montana State, both of whom have really good defenses, mm-hmm. there I don't think defensively neither either of those teams are that dominant where mm-hmm. they can literally just decide, okay, we're up by we're up by two scores. Now we're gonna punt for the rest right. of the game. So I think it's pretty safe to pencil in the two of them in Frisco. But mm-hmm. again, that is contingent on eliminating turnovers this week because turnovers will change the entire complexion of everything. They have to be careful with the football. Uh, and if they get to Frisco, we'll meet them there. We'll take some cameras. We'll do a little all-access. I still have to get permission from Chris. Chris, please. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, it'd be cool because all we have to do is drive up the road. So that'd be a nice change of pace after we went across country yeah. mm-hmm. to hang out with them. Now they can come hang out with us. Pulling for JMU, obviously a great season Go in Dukes. the CAA, mm-hmm. about a million All-Americans. We've posted, I think, two or three of those teams on flowfootball.com, mm-hmm. if you're not aware, the AP and the Hero for sure. So check that out. And uh, – Hopefully JMU knocks out this next win, moves on to the championship round, and we'll come back next week and we'll talk some more. James Madison on Colonial Time.